Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to today's video and today we're going to show you on how to properly install an hour meter. Now an hour meter is an absolute must you should have on anything with an engine that runs so you can actually properly do the maintenance on the bike that it needs. Now not enough people are running hour meters on their bikes and today I'm going to show you why you should, how you can do it, and how not to do it. Now there's three sort of main reasons of why you need to run an hour meter. Number one being an hour meter helps you perform regular maintenance on your bike. It keeps you on track for your scheduled maintenance so if you know the 50 hour service is coming up you can actually see that it's been 50 hours and it's time to do that service last and more importantly it actually lets you know the hours ran on the engine now see people don't necessarily care about how many kilometers it's been ridden they care about the hours it's been on now if you're asking hey Aaron like what are some of the cons of running an hour meter mm, well there are none and that's why you should be running one is there's literally no cons and it's all pros not only that they're really cheap and affordable to pick up and they will be linked down in the description if you need to pick one up for your bike now ideally you'd want to go and install the hour meter as soon as you get the bike when it's brand new now if you don't have a brand new bike and you still want to install one there's no problems now why would you want to install it at the very beginning so you actually know how many total hours are on the chassis of the bike and the engine now if you bought this bike second hand at least this will help you still have your scheduled maintenance if you know in six hours you like to do oil changes every six hours on your bikes this will let you know exactly how many hours the bike's ridden there's no more guessing there's no more like assuming of how long the bike's been running for you actually can know with some sort of concrete information which is important if you want to take care of your bike properly our example we're going to be showing you on is my new klx 140 rf now you may see that this bike already has one installed but it's been an absolutely horrible installation and this is a showcase of how not to do it so the first thing you want to make sure you're not doing you don't want to wrap it around the extra coating rubber that's on the spark plug wire as it can interfere with the connection so ideally you would want to actually wrap it around this section of the spark plug wire now some of you may be curious on like well how does an hour meter work there's no batteries there's nothing you plug it into it's just one wire that wraps around a spark plug and somehow it just counts hours well it's a bit more deep than that and that one wire is actually monitoring the electronic pulse that's going through the spark plug so for every pulse is giving it a multiplication of how many time to calculate onto the hour meter so it can just directly read on how many hours the bike has ran by how many pulses has happened throughout the spark plug so you guys heard me correct there's no batteries inside of the hour meter there is nothing other than this one cable that gets wrapped around your spark plug wire and that's all it takes for this thing to work so it's really simple you can't really mess it up and yes this does work in its current configuration but it looks absolutely atrocious the previous owner left all this extra wire around and it's just zip tied on kind of hack like and it just kind of looks like junk so I'm gonna show you how I would install my hour meter so you guys can do it properly and look it clean as well so the first thing we're gonna get in here and do is just cut off these old zip ties all right and we're gonna go ahead and pull this all out yeah this is super ghetto the way this guy installed it so let's go ahead and make it a way cleaner installation because you do not need to leave all this excess wire here that's just junk and in the way no reason to have that let's untangle this rat's nest that he's made go ahead and we'll undo the wound he's done up here around the plug which is also done kind of incorrectly you do not want to put it on this rubber sheath as it can interfere with the hours counted you definitely want to put it on the actual boot itself. So here we have the hour meter itself and you can see it's counted the hours on this, which is 14.8 hours on the bike. And uh, yeah, there's literally just one wire here that goes in the back and it simply just is clamped in there and just sits pressed into the piece of plastic. So there's really no complication to this installation. And it's super easy for any beginner mechanic to go ahead and install one of these on their bikes. So there's absolutely no reason you don't have one of these installed already on your bike. And if you don't, we can go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to put it on. Now what you see a whole lot of people do is they end up wrapping this wire around right here at the end of the boot and then you run a wire up somewhere and it just looks super janky. So instead of wiring it down here, wrapping it around down at the bottom of the spark plug wire, you're gonna follow that one up. And then you can see right here, it leads to the solenoid. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna end up wrapping the wire around right here. There's no reason it has to be wrapped down here at the end of the spark plug boot like most people do and that's when it looks really ugly. So you're going to go ahead and you want to wrap it around up here. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and just remove the hour meter from the wire so it's all separate and we're going to set this aside for right now. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our wire that was wrapped around the coil and we're going to wrap it around on this guy here. And now that we have it nicely tightened and wrapped around the coil here, now you wanna make sure you at least have 
three to four wraps around the coil to make sure you have a good connection. And as you can see, we do. So we're gonna go ahead and stick a zip tie on this so it can't come loose again. And it's nice because it's out of sight so you can't see this. As you can see, it's pretty well hidden back up in here. So let's go ahead and stick a zip tie on it. Now, because we're team green, we're obviously gonna use a green zip tie. So now we'll just come in with a pair of snips and just twist off the excess zip tie. Now that we have our wire properly routed around the coil pack, it's gonna be running this wire to wherever we want this to go to. So where are we gonna stick it on the bike? Let's go ahead and see where exactly we want this to end up sitting on the dirt bike where I, uh, it looks good and it's easily accessible. You wanna easily be able to view this thing and where you had it prior, it's prone to get damage on the front of the frame as rocks chip up and hit it. And all it takes is one rock to hit this hard enough and then this thing's gonna go kerblooey and then you're gonna lose your hour meter with the counter on it, which is no good. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna figure out where exactly I wanna sit this on the bike and we're gonna go from there. So I'll see you back in a second once I figure out where I wanna sit this. So after a couple minutes of just looking at where I think the best place is, is it's gonna be somewhere that has this wire stay the shortest. Now where is short from there is this crossbar that we have right up here. Now it's gonna keep this wire extremely short, which is gonna look clean, and then we won't have a whole bunch of extra dangling wire hanging throughout the frame. So I think right here is gonna be a perfect spot to go ahead and put it. We can also very easily see it from this angle right here and we can then see our hours with ease and it's in no problem and not in harm's way. It doesn't hit anything, it doesn't obstruct anything, so this is gonna be the perfect spot here. It's gonna have a really short wire and it's gonna be awesome. Now there is a trick to keeping this wire tight so there isn't a whole bunch of slack line just hanging up everywhere and let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. Now the first thing we wanna wanna do to make sure that this wire stays nice and tight when we go to install it with this piece of the hour meter is we wanna go ahead, we're gonna pull this tight, we're gonna sit this on into the hour meter just like it normally would. Make sure it fully seats all the way down in the hour meter so it doesn't want to pull out and you can slide it up along the cable like so we can keep tension on it and then we're going to come over to the other side and we're just going to keep doing that until we get the sweet spot of when there's not a whole lot of extra wire this is nice and tight and we can get the hour meter to sit exactly where we want so now we're going to get the hour meter to sit exactly how we would like it and how we're going to be able to read it then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab a couple zip ties and we're actually gonna feed it through the holes of the hour meter. Now to match the hour meter, we got some red zip ties here. We're gonna feed those through. We're gonna wrap them around the frame and come back to the front and run our zip tie through. Now when doing installation of one of these hour meters, you wanna make sure that it's not in the way of any sort of uh, moving components such as suspension or anything when the wheels are gonna be turning. We do not want this to rattle and jiggle a whole bunch around. And just like that, we have our hour meter now installed on the bike. Now you can see we're left with a whole bunch of excess wire and some people might be scared to cut this like the previous owner and just wrap around the bike a whole bunch. But that looks like garbage. So all we're gonna do, and it's totally okay to do, we're gonna come up to the back side of the hour meter and we're just simply gonna trim this wire right at the bottom of the hour meter. And just like that, we've removed all the excess. We have our hour meter up here. All right, and just like that, we got our wires trimmed up. We got a super short connection, so there's not a lot of excess wire hanging and dangling all around. We've moved the wire up to the top of the coil instead of all the way down here at the bottom of the spark plug. And just like that, you have finished your installation of your hour meter. So now it's all ready to go rock and roll on your bike. You don't have to worry about guessing about the hours. It's all there documented, so you can do your maintenance properly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.